Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Ryan the Collector Kid, and today I'm actually looking at something different, uh, non related to Doctor Who. Um, yes, it's the Judge Dread virtual pinball machine that I keep teasing you about uh, in the previous episodes. So today I'm actually going to just talk about um, the process of uh, starting a build of a virtual pinball machine, and um, I hope this will help you as well. Uh, watching if you are thinking about uh, wanting to build a virtual pinball machine and um, what you'll sort of need to get started. Now obviously um, I've done a lot of research uh, online. Um, I would recommend, highly recommend uh, joining lots of uh, forums and lots of uh, different Facebook community pages um, and uh, yeah just reach out to um, as many people as possible. Uh, to really get uh, your feet because it, it's uh, quite a big project um, but yeah in saying that it's been uh, so much fun as well uh, sourcing all the different parts and uh, getting it all together so yeah I just wanted to give you a bit of a snapshot on uh, what I've currently been working on uh, but also uh, kind of explain uh, the beginnings of it as well so firstly, uh, back in February this year, I reached out uh, on some Facebook uh, community pages around pinball machines um, to buy, look at buying a empty uh, cabinet uh, to start for my pinball build. Now, uh, some people do just uh, like to make their own uh, pinball cabinets, um, but I wanted to keep it as original as possible. Um, now, growing up, I loved playing um, a Judge Dredd pinball machine and um, I really wanted to get it um, you know uh, as a third pinball machine but as you know um, pinball machines uh, have become more and more expensive uh, and they're sort of around you know uh, six to nine grand for a second hand pinball machine and then uh, if you're looking at buying a brand new pinball machine you're looking at about 10 to 12 grand now obviously uh, being my 40th birthday this year in July, yes I'm 40, <laughs> I wanted to get a third pinball machine for my uh, man cave here. Um, so I thought well I'll save a bit of money and I'll build my own. So uh, yeah I've been able to sort of do it under budget um, for around about just under 4 grand once everything um, has kind of been all put together. So yeah, uh, firstly I started, uh, reached out on Facebook and um, one of my good friends, Joe from Kids Just Want to Have Fun Amusements. Uh, I'll leave links down below where you can find them. Uh, they basically supply uh, stern pinball machines or the latest ones, plus they deal with um, retro arcade machines and they do uh, parties and events as well. Uh, so check them, check them out. But yeah, he, um, he contacted me straight away and mentioned that they had uh, an old Judge Dredd pinball cabinet sitting up in the loft. Um, and so I was very lucky enough to get this cabinet for $500. Um, so I pretty much uh, got down there as soon as I could and uh, picked it up with my father-in-law. So that was really awesome. Be able to sort of source that and, and um, piece of history, uh, something original and nostalgic as well. So uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna sort of go through um, the different parts of the pinball machine now. And um, as I'm sort of uh, going through the video footage, um, I'll sort of do a voiceover and I'll list all the different um, components that I've used as well um, to help you with your build. Um, now obviously if you have any questions, uh, leave the comments down below um, and I'll answer them, uh, get to them as quick as I can. But um, let's move on to the next part, which is uh, looking at the actual uh, cabinet videos. Um, yeah. So stay tuned, be back in just a moment. Alright, so we have the Judge Dredd cabinet here uh, from Belly. Uh, this is the original pinball cabinet that I was able to acquire from uh, Kids Just Want to Have Fun uh, from Joe. So thank you again. And uh, yeah, it looks like in really nice uh, condition there. Got the monitors there, which we'll go over in a little moment. Inside here we've got the heart of the machine. It's coming in now. We've got the computer which has uh, got the latest i5 Ryzen processor with 16GB of RAM, uh, 256GB uh, solid state drive 
an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card uh, to run all the monitors. We have a uh, amplifier which is powering the uh, tactile feedback uh, speakers which are on the left and the right hand side here um, and wired up to the little uh, amplifier on the side there. We also have the virtual pinball encoder uh, which allows you to wire in all the uh, physical buttons um, which you'll be able to see on the outside here so we've got the top flipper and magnet save buttons we've got the start and exit buttons on the left there on the right side we've got a uh, extra ball and launch ball button and then we also have the digital plunger uh, which is a physical plunger uh, mounted to a board you can see that out there. It works just like a, a normal plunger, which is pretty cool. And we also have a LED whiz kit, which is going to wire up all the LED lights and buttons. Now on the side here we've got uh, a, a, virtu a real tilt bob, uh, which is also going to be wired to the virtual pinball encoder. Up the top here we've got a 27 inch uh, iMac monitor which is going to be the back glass and we have a 15 and a half inch LCD computer screen uh, which is for the DMD display. Um, now you'll see that we have a speaker system, I uh, just picked up these uh, small speaker two packs plus a sub from Officeworks so you don't have to kind of go too crazy um, but you can sort of see is quite a decent uh, sub which is just sitting behind the uh, PC. What we can see here is we also have uh, a cutout of what the speaker panels will look like. Um, this is just from MDF at the moment. It's just uh, a, a test um, cutout and we've got a beautiful 43 inch uh, 4K Samsung TV, uh, which I believe is a Series 8, uh, so I just picked that up from my local JB Hi-Fi, and um, it has been seated uh, quite nicely as well. So thank you so much for tuning in to see my first part of my virtual pinball machine. And again, if you have any questions or any uh, feedback uh, for me, uh, please leave that in the comments down below. And um, again, I really wanted to make this video to help uh, a lot of people out there that may be thinking about um, building a virtual pinball machine or maybe is currently building a virtual pinball machine. I hope this really helps um, helps you there to be able to sort of get to where you need to. Um, but at this stage, I'm hoping to uh, kind of have it all ready uh, by the end of the year. Um, I sort of gave myself a realistic goal of about uh, six months to a year and uh, I feel that I'm, I'm almost there. Um, so obviously I've got a couple of extra parts um, on order. Um, the next part is I've got a coin door on order, so I'll be looking at fitting that in. Um, once I'll be able to fit that coin door in at the front, then I'll be able to start wiring up all the buttons and then loading up the uh, button software to be able to, to uh, test it and then be able to uh, then install the baller installer software. and. Um, be able to look at getting uh, those pinball tables uh, up and running. So yeah, um, if you have enjoyed what you've seen today, uh, please like and subscribe. That would help me with being able to create more content. And I've got um, a heck of a lot more content coming out. I've got some more Doctor Who stuff coming up soon. Um, got a competition poster that I won. And um, yeah, just always got uh, new ideas. So um, have a great week and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.